Hey, how's it going? Welcome to this week's video. Um, I'm going to mix it up a little bit this week and I'm going to go for a black box tuning video. This is my freestyle quad. I've recently put new props on it, so uh, it's going to need a tune. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to record the DVR because if you record GoPro, the, the smoothing takes it out of it. But I want actual video data and I'm going to show you why in a bit, but yeah going to be a black box tuning video. Get ready! Before you go out flying, you want to plug your drone into Betaflight, connect, go down to the black box tab, and on the logging device, hit onboard flash. You want 1 kilohertz logging rate, and gyro scaled as the debug mode. Uh, save and reboot, and that's that for that part. You might have some data in this uh, flash. Just erase that, you're all good. This may take some time. We're gonna go for a flight that is gonna show us data on the black box. So we're gonna go take off, go for a little fly. And it doesn't seem that bad. It actually, uh, feels pretty smooth on the slow kind of wiggles. Let's uh, let's try a few roll pitch your throttles. So roll. As long as you get that nice snap, that's all you need. I, I see a little bit of wobble. Oh, there's a lot on the pitch. The next one we want to do is your. See, that is quite wobbly. So now we want to do throttle punches. I punch up, I stay flat, but zero throttle. And then when I get to the treetops, I just slowly put on the power and you'll get the oscillations you're looking for. I'm going to come and land so I can save this black box. And once you're home, you can plug your drone in, connect to it, activate the mass storage device, and that should give you this beta flight onboard flash. Just grab the all file. This is all of them. Copy to your desktop. This may take a while. So go ahead and open your black box log. You want to make your legend look like mine by doing this graph setup. Pause here if you want to see. And remember that video from earlier? We can open that in the viewer. Uh, to find where the log starts, go ahead and find on the video where it says armed. There we go. And hit log sync. So to make this simple, we're going to look at one axis at a time. In this case, the roll. And we're going to skip to where we did the roll in the video, which is about here. There we go. You see our graph. So, how do you interpret the data? Well, as it turns out, this trace line isn't too bad. But let me show you what a bad one would look like. If it went up here, not as much, and then flattened out, that would be no bueno. Uh, also, if it went up too fast and oscillated, that's a bad one. Um, but ours is pretty good. It tracks, it goes up, and then it smooths out and goes straight. So that's all right. Another thing to look at is the distance between telling it what to do and what the quad is actually doing. That's feed forward. Increase that if the lines are too far away. So what am I going to change about this? I'm going to add a little bit of feed forward to bring the gyro closer to the set point. Let's look at pitch next. So the pitch is where we had our wobble. Uh, so let's find that real quick. I think it's just forward. So as before, the quad follows what I tell it to do, but it overshoots. So that either means too much P 
or not enough D. Um, in this case, I think it's not enough D. So I would increase that along with the feed forward. All right, let's look at the yaw. Uh, we can find the yaw here. So what's the graph telling us? We tell it to yaw, and it lags behind very slightly, and then it overshoots, but it returns back. That is the bounce we're seeing. And because we have no D, we have to reduce the P in this case. All right, finally, if your graph looks like it has lots of up and down lines, you might have too much D, or your filters are too low. So now that you know what to adjust, we're going to go over to Betaflight, plug in your drone, go to PID tuning, and we can increase and decrease these values. Only adjust them by a few points at a time, don't go crazy. Make sure Demon is off. If your motors are hot when you land, like hot to the touch hot, Turn your D down, or move your filter sliders to the left by one notch. And then you're ready to go fly again. Alright, same as last time. Uh, take off, and you just want to start off with the wiggles. See if it feels right. Alright, good. What about the rolls? That was snappier, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, what about the pitch? Is that still got bounce? Oh, only a little bit this time. All right, we're on the right track here. What about your spins? Oh, still got a bit more bounce. We can adjust that. And the throttle looks good. There's hardly any oscillations now. All right, let's land and repeat the whole process all over again. Uh, good luck, everybody, and have a good day.